hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on this video i go by the name precious of course Press for short. A lot of people pronounce it Okosi as Okosi. If you're one of them, you're forgiven. And if you're about to be one of them, I forgive you already. <laughs> but please, it's Okosi and not Okosi. And yes, I'm a Nigerian YouTuber. I'm Nigerian, okay? So in this video, I'm going to be so, 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 so blunt. I'm going to be spilling a lot of tea. So if you feel like you don't like hot tea, if you feel like you're going to feel attacked or you wouldn't be happy watching this video or something, I don't know, just use the door because it's really, really early. But if you know you're ready to listen to this hot tea, Please keep watching this video because this tea go hot. And before we begin this video, before you guys start coming for me, like, I've actually even been to Ghana for her to even see this thing. I did my university in Ghana, okay? So I was in Ghana. I've been to Ghana and I was there for four years because I schooled in Ghana for four years. And this is like enough time for me to say that Ghana is really really a very good country and honestly i've always wanted to like talk about this topic whilst i was in ghana because we always have this nigeria and ghana fight all the time and yeah i always have to fight to it because we always argue about this thing and as a nigerian i have to support my country like oh nigeria is better we have the best we have a better jalof we have better musicians we have this we have that that's what we just argue about the musicians the jollof the actors the but we don't argue when it comes to like the government the president this and that they always win us on that but then we still stand on our ground saying nigeria is better but honestly like deep down in my heart i just knew like ghana it's ghana is better because whilst I was in this country, I was seeing a lot of things. You guys know what I've been going on recently. This Rona thing. I can't call the name. I can't call the full name because of YouTube guidelines and all of that. But you guys know what I've been going on. I mean, the Rona, the pandemic stuff going on in the world right now. Uh, please, you guys, just stay safe, okay? We won't be fine and this will pass. But you guys know about the pandemic stuff going about. So I woke up this morning and I saw a news. I saw the president of Ghana talking. He spoke about something that this got to me. And I was like, no, this is it. I can't even keep lying. I can't even keep lying and defending my country. But honestly, Ghana presently, as at now, they are leading. They are winning. So let me read to you guys. I think I wrote it down. I'll try to attach the video while I'm editing. I'll look for the video because I saw the video somewhere. And I just typed down what he was saying okay i read this was what the president of ghana said okay from his mouth directly i was typing he said the ghana water company limited and the electricity of ghana have been directed to ensure the stable supply of water and electricity during this period in addition there will be no disconnection of supply Furthermore, government will absorb the water bills for all Ghanaians for the next three months, that is April, May and June. All water tankers, publicly and privately owned, are also going to be mobilized to ensure the supply of water to all vulnerable communities. This is what he said. So for three months straight, April, May and June, there will be no disconnection of water supply and electricity supply in Ghana. This is crazy because normally Ghana's electricity supply is top notch. Honestly, when I was in Ghana, like sometimes three or four day streets, they don't take the light. And when they get to take the light for like three hours, it feels like, oh, what's happening? What's happening? Like, it feels weird. And when they bring this light back, they hardly take it again to some days for like some hours and not the full day. But for them to say that there will be no disconnection at all, that means Ghana is about to be a small America. And normally, we, we in Nigeria, we've been begging. I'm going to attach a video of a Nigerian actress who was actually begging online for Nigeria to provide electricity. Because now we're on lockdown for two weeks and it's going to be crazy without light. Because Good morning, everybody. Truly, I'm, I'm very, 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 very upset. And as a matter of fact, I feel like crying. What kind of country is this? What is it? You said people should stay at home. We all understand that this coronavirus is killing and it's everywhere. But what kind of a country is this for God's sake? Why is it that nothing, why is it that something something cannot work, work in this country? 
There's no light. People are sitting at home. Some people bought perishable yesterday and tried to stock their houses for them to stay. And everywhere is generator sound. We are doing everything humanly possible within our reach to encourage people to sit at home, tell them the danger of this. And for God's sake, give light. Government, give us light. Give light. 20 naira now that the now now come out for inside fuel. For God's sake, in these two weeks, if it is only natural that you can just give this light, leave it. Let people be able to sit in their house. They leave the small children, let them be able to watch television at least. Live light now. Live light. And what Nigeria did that in their mind they feel they've done something is they reduced the fuel price from 145 presently now it's 120 they just removed 25 naira so what they tell us that you have to buy for you go buy for you go tire so they just reduced the price for us a little but we have we've been begging please provide electricity during this lockdown it's going to be crazy without light even a lady posted a video where her her gen bond because of like she's been using the gen over and over again and it just caught fire but see what ghana did and we call ourselves the giant of africa how oh, wait it got to a time when i was in ghana i got pissed and i was like let me even google like why are we even called the giants of africa and when i checked on google i'll put it for you guys to see we are called the giants of Africa because we are the most populated country in Africa and the seventh most populated country in the world. That is the only reason. I don't know if that's the only reason, but that's a reason. That's one of the reasons why we are called the giant of Africa because we are overpopulated. Like, how is that even a reason? So because of we are plenty in the country, we are the giant of Africa, really. So when I saw this, when I saw this this morning, I was like, no. Ghana is leading. Ghana has won. Because if our president do something like this, or if any president do something like this in Nigeria, then that's like one thing we are going to remember this president for because it has never happened in Nigeria before. And during this pandemic period where we even need electric electricity the most, they are not even taking it into consideration. But look at what Ghanaian president did. And we still call ourselves, no, honestly, let's be truthful to ourselves. Ghana is leading. Another thing is this. When, this. when this corona thing came to Ghana, I think it came to Ghana March 30th. I'm not so sure. After some days when it entered Ghana, they started disinfecting their markets. Because honestly, even before this corona thing came to Nigeria, we've been begging the president online, obviously, to please close the airports because presently we because at that time we were safe so we we're saying close the airports close the airports but he did not listen and i think the reason why he did not close the airports at that time was because his daughter was outside the country because it was after some days when the daughter go back that was when the airport was closed so obviously it was because the daughter was out because if he cared about we the citizens he would have closed the airport as soon as we heard that runa was over there do you understand? But, and even, I think they said it's infecting their market after Ghana. I think they saw what Ghana was doing and they said, because it actually came to Ghana. It actually came to Nigeria first. I mean, the runner, it came to Nigeria before it went to Ghana. But Ghana they said it's infecting their market first. And said Nigeria is better. How, please, how? And again, I talk about their education, like Ghana's education is, is to me, it's better because if it's not better i wonder why we nigerians keep going to ghana to school because you will hardly see ghanaians coming to nigeria to school maybe they do come but the rate is low as compared to how nigerians go to ghana to school i keep saying like honestly i'm not ghanaian i'm nigerian but when i went there guy i have to be truthful man i can't i can't just lie because i'm trying to defend my country i wouldn't even be having this argument on this channel i'm just going to show you guys a video on the former governor of anambra state dr pito b talking about how better ghana's education is education education and education and i thank ghana mr president i thank your country we were at the same rate in 2010 in education Today, your literacy rate is 72 percent. We are still at 51, and we are 49 when we started. 
We've only moved two steps. We've gone over twenty. That's where we should be going. So now, let me talk about the um, the police people, the security in Nigeria, and that of Ghana. I wouldn't even talk about SARS because you know how it is when it comes to SARS. I mean, we Nigerians, we know better. So I don't want to go to that area. Less like, uh, so I don't want to go there. So because of this pandemic thing happening in the world, because of this runa thing in our countries, Ghana, Nigeria, and other countries, um, our government issued a two weeks lockdown in Nigeria and the Ghanaian government issued a two weeks lockdown in their country as well. So in Delta States, I'm going to post a video. A man was shot down by the police just because he came out to go to the pharmacy to get a drug for his sick fiancée. They don't even value their own life. Day two, Delta lockdown. Ami don't shoot Percy die for Gwangwe, Joseph Kwesu. Ami shoot the boy die. Run. Or, see, now this one I'll know soja. They're not going to see that army now. I mean, the government said pharmacies will be opened. Hospitals will be opened. So, like, who will go there if it's not we human beings? But this guy's intention was to go to the pharmacy to get drugs for his fiancée. But then the police shut him down. The police, he was shut down just because he came out. He was killed. But then I also saw a video, and this happened in Ghana. The police caught three. I'm going, to, I'm going to post the video as well. The policeman caught three people. All he did was he was punishing them, like doing this frog jump. But one of them, there were three guys, one refused to do the frog jump very well. So yeah, he was hitting him. But this officer was not really hitting him like that. I think he just slapped him. But the guy's a very stubborn guy. So the guy slapped his own back. He slapped the officer back and he ran. <laughs> Honestly, that point, if it was a Nigerian police did that to you, slap him and you're running. He's going to go on you, he's going to shoot your leg for real. But this Ghanaian police were just pursuing him. He did not even shoot him. He was just pursuing him. He caught him and he brought his other colleagues, like the other police people according to the video i saw can you see the difference one was shot down because he came out to get um a drug another one he was they were just punishing them and even when he was slapped and ran away the policeman did not shoot him he still ran after him just to catch him that's the difference like ghana is really really safe i didn't want to go in depth talking about like the pandemic thing and what we are seeing Ghana is honest, Ghana is leading. It's so safe. You can be in Ghana have rest of mind. But being in right Nigeria, there's no rest of mind. Because even the police are now doing worse than the robbers. And also, another thing that when I was in Ghana, I was like, no. Ghana is better again. Do you know what? Because we now, I'm presently serving. Because I finished my, I graduated in July. And yeah, I have to do this one year compulsory service, like serving your country. We all know that. They do it in Ghana as well. And when I asked how much Ghanaians were paid for their service, I wrote it down. Ghana is paid 559 Ghana cities for their service. And when I was in school, do you know how much Ni we Nigerians were paid? We were paid 18,000 Naira. And 18,000 Naira is just 279 Ghana cities. So Ghanaians were receiving times two because we were receiving 18 and Ghanaians were receiving 559. That's like 37,000 Naira in Nigerian currency because presently the exchange rate is 15 cities to 1000 naira i think that was last week i don't know how much it is now but i just was like last week rate so last week the exchange rate was 15 cities is was 1000 naira so if i'm using 15 cities to calculate their money ghanaians are receiving 37,000 naira we nigerians we were receiving 18,000 naira that's like times two of what nigerians nigerian graduates are receiving I started serving November, so yeah, I received 18,000 Naira November, 18,000 Naira December. So I was receiving 279 Ghana cities. My Ghanaians were receiving 500 plus. Yeah, January, our Alawi was increased with 30,000 Naira. Sorry, 33,000 Naira. And it is not even up to 
this 559 Ghana cities. Just imagine the Ghanaian government increase their allowance. It's going to be getting to like 50. While we are happy that we are getting 30, that is not even up to what they are receiving. Who is better? Are you still saying Nigeria is better? Nigeria's present minimum wage is 30,000 Naira and Ghana's minimum wage, I don't know, I checked on Google, is 690 cities. That is like 46,000 Naira. That's their minimum wage. But we Nigerians, our minimum wage is 30,000 Naira. See, this is not some Jollof argument. Let's just leave Jollof out of this. Let's just stop this Nigerian argument and Ghana arguments nigeria better than Ghana. nigeria is not we own we nigerians we know we know that presently our country is our country now is nothing to even talk home about i'm not giving up on my country i'm still proud to be a nigerian but i'm just tired of this nigeria is better we are okay fine our jollof rice is better honestly because i'm eating Ghana jollof rice as well and i still prefer my nigerian own it's better but that is not what we're talking about if not for our musicians we are still putting us on the chart like we should be taking our musicians all the time because they keep making us proud if not for our footballers if not for these people who are still making us feel like nigeria is too great nigeria and if not for our jollof rice thank you jollof nigeria is like nothing to talk home about should I even talk about the road? Like when you enter Nigeria, you know that you're in Nigeria. I'm not saying Ghana don't have bad roads, but Nigeria have worse roads. <laughs> so honestly, the reason I'm making this video right now is because of this thing I saw the Ghana president did. Providing electricity for three months straight without no disconnection. Normally, they have this awesome electricity supply like it's top notch and for them i'll say three months without no disconnection it is crazy and i was choked i was like no don't even compare okay if we have to remove our artists remove our jollof and our footballers and compare country and country you nigerians in your church mind who do you think is leading so I really don't want to keep talking and talking and talking. If I keep talking, I would not even stop because right now, Nigeria is annoying me. I'm tired. I wish I could just leave. See, I'm done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is me being just blunt. This is me being real. So if you get offended as a Nigerian, you know I'm not lying because me too, I'm Nigerian. And I'm proud of Nigerian. For better, for worse, I'm Nigerian, okay? And hopefully, Nigeria becomes better. 